life after an apartment fire in Coeur d'Alene. Six children were also sent to the hospital. Kicks Way Force Ian Cole joins us now live from that complex at 4200 North Royal. Ian, what caused this morning's blaze? Well, Nadine, investigators say a log simply rolled out of a fireplace and onto the carpet in the bottom apartment. This unit that you see behind us here, it ignited that carpet and some of the furniture and ended up completely destroying this building. The fire ripped through this bottom unit at the Crown Royal Apartments just before 6 a.m. A man and woman inside, six kids in the unit and the one above, all were transported to the hospital. I woke up at 545 to my alarm clock and I smelled smoke and my dog was going crazy and so I woke up my kids and I went, my living room was full of smoke. And I went down and I could feel the heat on the stairways and I was getting my kids out and the neighbor below me, Jesse, was laying on the stairs burnt. And the whole building was on fire. Corey McNerney says the people living below are boyfriend and girlfriend. Both were badly burned and flown to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. McNerney and her four children were treated for smoke inhalation. I got everybody out and put them in my vehicle and started it so they could be warm. And just started watching windows bust and flames just went insane. And then the fire trucks got here and uh, we all had to go to the hospital. Firefighters extinguished the flames within five minutes. Investigators say the fire moved so quickly because there's so much wood inside. The floors between the bottom units and top units, half of them are burnt out on, up there. So in half, uh, the top of the stairwell has been burnt out. So we're not letting anybody in. We're locking this down tight. 12 residents don't have a home to go to now. Most of their items destroyed. McNerney is grateful for what's left. I'm a single mom of four on disability. And I lost everything. But I have my kids. The man and woman transported to Seattle are 28 and 29 years old. We don't know their names. And as for the apartment complex, it's considered to be a total loss, about $350,000 in damages. Nadine. Wow. And you tweeted earlier today, there was only one working smoke detector? Uh, that's right. Investigators say in, it was on the top floor. And you can imagine if that filled up with smoke up there, just think about it, what, what it was like on the bottom floor. They say if there were smoke detectors in every room and in, on every floor, like they suggest, uh, those major injuries could have been avoided.